Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome to episode 3 of my Barcelona FIFA 20 career mode series. I hope you all had a great Christmas, uh, New Year coming up as well. But yeah, hoping you're having a good time uh, with your family, friends, all that good stuff. You got all the presents you wanted as well. And this is my, this series, like starting up this series now, this is my present to you. So hopefully it'll, it'll get better as we go on. So yeah, I appreciate the support uh, you guys have left so far. But right into this episode, we had to replace one player there. There's a bit of international duty. So we added Furpo into the training sessions and that led me to talk about some of the younger players we have in the team that we could potentially give a chance to. I saw a couple comments talking about PK, we need a quicker defender, but PK, like, he's, he's an experience, you need that experience, you need that leadership in your team and that really shows on the pitch. It most definitely does. So I don't want to be quick to sell. Like even Suarez as well. There's a couple of the highest rated players. <laughs> I've seen some comments. Maybe get a replacement striker. I don't want to in this first season. Because we've already made. I don't want to go too heavy on the signings. I want to get the right balance. But you got Rakitic there. And Vidal. I wanted to mention them. As we weren't really giving them much of a chance. Because we're trying to get the balance of the team. Uh, for the starting players. Because I know they're, they're a bit older. They may not have the future at Barcelona, but I do want you guys to get in the comments what you want, but also what you think will be best for this Barcelona side going forward. But first, importantly, importantly, we, we got a game. So we did a bit of the selection there, so we don't need to go into the team management. Let's just head right into this match now. So... 13 minutes in, we're going to create a chance here, Leo Messi, get a ball to him, Suarez, this could be assist for Suarez, a goal to Messi, no, it is saved, oh, that is disappointing, that was a one-on-one, -on -one, and it was really tough there, I tried to do the finesse, and uh, in, in my mind, I, I wasn't sure which shot selection to go for, finesse normally goes well, disappointing, maybe I should have went with power, and then Griezmann, who's been dancing in the box, and Fabian almost scoring another goal, he started very, very well to his Barca career, uh, Leo Messi, uh, I should say, Luis Suarez, Luis Suarez, uh, yeah, he was he was looking mad, but he got in the way. He was offside, and that was very important by Ter Stegen. Honestly, I felt we were going to concede a goal there, and yeah, it would have mean like I felt, oh no, nah, it's not our day. We're going to concede here, but he stood up literally and made the save. We're making some late changes here, waiting for the ball to go out. Uh, we got Tadebo there. He's another one, another young player. We want to give some chances to uh, Furpo, and yeah, Furpo like he's our only option there that I feel could be an impact sub. Like, freshen up the legs at left back and make the runs forwards. Yeah, I feel we could almost make another signing, <laughs> uh, really, if, if we were to. I'm not going to just yet, not in this... Tra yeah, we're, obviously, we're not going to make any more transfers uh, until the next transfer window comes around, if we do in January. I don't usually make too many in January, but... Dembele, look at the pace. I always feel this when he comes on. Look, he just runs and runs and runs. The defenders seem to disappear. And then we lost the ball. Then Messi smartly played it off. That was a really nice pass. It was space to shoot. Suarez getting off now. We've got a late free kick. Messi is going to hit this, but it was just a bit weak. Uh, honestly, I haven't been the best with free kicks in FIFA 20. Probably need to get on the, on the park to practice them because I've just took, you know, free kicks in games without mastering them, without trying to master them. Just take the free kick, you know, aim, power up, <laughs> the general. Uh, I've scored a couple, but, yeah, I haven't been dominant uh, with free kicks in FIFA 20. And it really does look like this how it's going to end. This is going to end. We're going to push for sure. There's a late-minute chance. Are we going to get it here or not? We're passing. We're pa but there's just a wall or two <laughs> by Valencia that we couldn't get past. They had too many players back there. Would have would have required something really, really special. So that was a bit of a disappointing game there. But we had chances. I mean, we had seven shots on target to their three. 50, not, almost 60% of possession. So we really control it. Take a look at the better players in this game. Alba, we took him off. He, funnily enough, was one of the better players uh, for today. Artur as well. But, yeah, we didn't stand. I feel Messi. Messi is an excellent player. 
And I always get in the commentary them saying, oh, Messi's not having a good game or he's being very quiet. They expect him to do so much. Like, if he's not scoring goals, he's had such a quiet game. So, uh, well, yep, yeah, we'll give you the update of his expectations or our expectations of him to get the 40 goal contributions. That's a, within the goals and assists. Uh, either, uh, like, you know, uh, that, 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 both those things together. <laughs> I eventually got that out. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, the, the 40 contributions in between goals and assists. But anyway, anyway, can we see something against Dortmund? This is a huge game. This is where the Champions League is going to get underway for the season. Very important. Very important for us to get a good start, beat a, a danger for us, really. Borussia Dortmund, they'll want to be trying to go far. So this is a selection we're not really changing too much because we're still pretty fit uh, in terms of yeah, the player's fitness. We don't need to rotate too much early. And yeah, Paco Alcacer, could he do the damage against his old side? Marco Roy scored a very frustrating early goal for us. Like... Uh, like this for us as I said that was just frustrating like we oh, I don't feel I committed too much with the defenders and then the goalkeeper the save went right back to him so uh, uh, easily easily that should have been dealt with and again they get forward Jordi Alba couldn't clear it in time and we're suddenly 2-0 down this could be really really disastrous here are we gonna come back from this man Right now, I say Dortmund is dominating us, but look right here. I tried to just pass it, but you know when you it, it powers up. It has to power up before you pass it. That was annoying, so we just had to take control. Fabian, what a sighting he's been. What a transfer to bring to Barcelona. He's already made his impact. You cannot doubt that, but from that previous goal, yeah, I feel I couldn't do much about that. Alba got on the ball played the pass, press pass, like on some ESPN stuff, press pass, <laughs> and it was just powering up while then he got tackled, didn't have time to release the pass, so yeah, we had to get that goal back, look at his hand, look at the player's hand there trying to stop it, his hand was going through his shirt then shorts, that's EA Sports for you, that's always been in FIFA, <laughs> like the players, like their hands and stuff can go through bodies and ad boards, it's like magic, <laughs> it's like a magic. But Luis Suarez is getting off here. Um, yeah, Dembele, we're going to bring on. We need that influx, that influx of the pace. Are we going to see that? Come on, we've got about 25 minutes. Uh, Fabian coming off. He, he scored a goal, but yeah, he was starting to look a bit tight. He's not the most paciest guy as well. So when he gets later in the game, yeah, he looks even slower. But here we go. What an equalizing goal by Frankie de Jong. That was a great team goal. He was just there for the finisher. What a great, great position he was in as well. He read that very nicely. Positioning, attacking positioning was really nice. Look at his run. Spot the run and then the smarts to play it back to him. And in the end, he had the easy job. When Getting in the position <laughs> was the biggest part there. We played the pass to him and he just had the space. He had the open space and just had to take the shot. You know, a bit of power, and he's going to score. So, could we take the lead with 10 minutes left? Dembele to Artur to set it up to Young again. Could that go in? No. How close was that? He could have been the hero. He could have been the hero of today's game. But it's not over yet. We get the ball in. Dembele. No. They keep getting in the way. It was Schultz on that occasion. We're going to get another corner. Could someone step up here? It's Gerard PK. He does. Big PK. When he gets in position from the corners, it's really hard to stop him. And he scores another goal added to his Barcelona tally. Oh, he's dangerous. He really, look how he gets up there. Strong, powerful header in the net as well. Very high. The goalkeeper will struggle to get to that. Yeah, with a yeah, powerful header, you can't react that quick <laughs> to save that, that powerful header. Oh, he, he just, mate, he's so good. As I said, I really don't want to sell him. He is a bit slower. For Like, there's a lot of faster centre-backs than him, but he's so good. His strength, <laughs> defensively, and in the air, he wins so many defensive headers, those 50-50 battles. They're not 50-50s, and yeah, his headers don't lie. They're, they're, they're right up there. <laughs> he's so good. He, he really is. So, I do want to keep him on. We had a late chance there to increase the lead. So, uh, 
It was some game, this. We're going to have a late opportunity here if the ref was going to allow it, but he blows the whistle. As expected, almost to five added minutes, but the hero from this game was Gerard Piquet. He's, you know, he's getting older, and again, that's the case of we need to get quicker centre-backs, you would think, but he stood up. He stood up tall. <sighs> We dominated that game. If we didn't win, I would have been very disappointed. Look at the chances. We had Kimmich was actually fantastic. He had his best game so far as a Barcelona player. You got PK there, Griezmann. We had so many players that had great games. So, yeah, you, you see PK with a goal. De Jong, what a great game. And the assist. Griezmann got two assists as well. So, don't downplay his performance. And the one to Kimmich uh, with his great 9.2. Griezmann had 9.1 as well. For the goals we conceded, we still had a pretty <laughs> a pretty good result. So sparkling performance by Fabian as well. He's been he's been doing very well recently. Of course, that was the one in the league, but more so his like his recent performances uh, to start his Barcelona career have been very nice. So Atletico Madrid is top, and there's quite a few teams on ten points. Even Real. They're on the same points as us. Are you always focused when you're doing a Barca or a Real career mode? You look at though. You look at the other team. If like if someone else is on top, you see like Atletico Madrid. Like Atletico, you're like okay. You expect them to drop a bit more points. You're still focusing on Real Madrid's total if you're Barcelona, even if Atletico is on top of them. So yeah, that's funny. But actually, we were going to change a bit there. This race, he's 71 overall. 19 years of age we want to i wanted to bring in a def more defensive midfield we have these other players there Rakitic i wanted to start a younger guy and bring in Rakitic there as well i like to mix with that experience but i wanted to have someone who is that defensive midfield prospect for us and yeah hopefully race uh, hopefully he is going to be a player that can grow a lot and you saw it already there you saw it already we just committed a little bit too much and you notice when you do that, the amount you want to, it's always more extreme. I say it in my videos, you know, from my reactions when we concede a goal. Like, it just, the defender pushes at the player too much, like, overcommits like two or three more steps. And yeah, where you just want to run to where the ball is, like at his feet. And he runs past him. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the greatest start here. And apart from that, we haven't really been able to generate so much uh, in this game uh, so far. Dembele, he is trying to create something. To be fair, and now Rakitic, do you think he should get more of a game time? Let me know. Let me know because something we'll talk more about playing the younger players. But we'll see how at least race goes in this in this game himself but see I like to build up build up with the passes keep that Barcelona you know style with the short passing don't attack too quickly then Rakitic I, I honestly thought there <laughs> it took a deflection but it didn't so yeah he had his run you didn't really get too many highlights of him obviously we show close chances the goals and all of that but I felt he was okay on the ball we just still need to develop him a little bit more but in this game the managers he, he's getting pumped up like we need to get a goal back we can't lose here yeah, Dembele and again a frustrating one Messi was just running there got in the way and it was offside man CPU they're they're wild sometimes <laughs> like doing things you wouldn't want but now only 10 minutes left could we get another goal another late goal it's Griezmann this time gets past the defender Griezmann with a tidy finish come on come on let's keep going let's keep going here that was a great ball through oh how nice was that that was really really neat really really neat play and Griezmann on his weaker right foot, he just placed that. He placed that over the keeper, uh, even on his right. Even on his right. Now, he opens his account for the season. Want to see? I feel he's more dangerous when we put him in the striker position when we sub up Suarez. So, yeah, it's very, very interesting. But here late in the game, you know, when we scored just 10 minutes left, they're, they're running wide. They're, they're trying to milk the clock. They're trying to milk it there, to be fair. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that's what they want to do from here and Aziz there <sighs> honestly look how close PK I talk about his defense and he saved one there could we get a late chance though is there gonna be enough time we get it through Leo Messi Leo Messi what can he do here can he get past it's late in the game so he's not as quick but he still has enough to get past and no that was the late chance guys I think that was Fatih yeah that was Fatih 
And he could not score. That would have been, imagine if he scored that. His name would have been up in lights, maybe with a bit more experience as we grow him. Yeah, see, you saw his reaction there. Oh, hands to the face. Disappointing. Maybe in a season or two, this could have been, that could have been a situation. He was the match winner. And again, I was focusing on that a little bit, just highlighting, oh, we, another game. We had more chances. We did have more chances in our opposition. And yeah, look, Fatih, he came on and he got 8.2 rating. He had an excellent impact. He's, he's coming along so, so nicely. Really? <laughs> I have not, not much. It would have been nice to see him get a goal, but he got the assist for the Griezmann goal. And, yeah, he, he, he's doing great stuff. We can't put our expectations too high on his performances for him to be one of the, like, <laughs> biggest goal scorers or anything. But assist, handy, handy for him. And Griezmann got his first goal of the season. So, yeah, in your first few games, you know, first five, six games, we're still working out, uh, working it out for a season, finding our way. But, really, we are still, we're still unbeaten. So we got to look at the positives there, and we already see what we can improve on. The negative is Atletico Madrid are four points ahead of us. But I'm like, I'm glad that's not Real Madrid. <laughs> and the good thing, we still have games against them coming. Those, those will be really big. Some good training sessions there as well. So right now, we're going to check, and we're going to discuss a little bit and wonder... Do we need to play a more attacking formation? But there's been some games we've conceded a few goals here and there. Other games have been better defensively. Is our balance enough at the moment? The amount of goals we're scoring. You got Leo Messi. We'll talk about his expectations <laughs> like we did uh, just a little bit before. And look at Fabian. Fabian's come in, got two goals and an assist. Griezmann, two assists and one goal. Are we still... Is Suarez not doing enough? When you're a striker, we can't lie, Suarez is the striker. He's only got one goal in six. Is he just not that good? Is he just not that effective? A Barcelona striker, one goal in six, that's not enough. Do we start Griezmann more? we got to think about that. I know you guys left your suggestions for signings, but yeah, if we go on Messi right now, two out of 40 goal contributions. You would say he's just behind the average now. He's going to have to... Messi has to go... Do we, do we drop Suarez? That would be absolutely crazy. Uh, Messi to play striker or Griezmann, what, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Because Suarez is... I wanted to give Suarez a chance because no doubt he's still got great finishing. He got an assist to his name, or he would have got an assist to his name, actually, that Messi one, yeah? But anyway, we're going to leave that there. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Leave your suggestions with tactics. Should we go more attacking, or is it a good balance? We just need to finish our chances. Let me know up in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the very next video.